Hello and welcome back to our survival let's play on No Man's Land. I was going to say use machinery challenge, that's because I've just come off that map. Um, we're definitely on No Man's Land and it's, I think, episode 112, I believe. We've got, we're in the second day of April, it's already quarter past nine, we've got an absolute ton of work to do, like loads. We've stopped producing claws, that needs taken up. Um, to the production site. This needs half some, which is that is actually what we're gonna do. In fact I might as well start it now. Um I'm just waiting to see if we're gonna be on swath dropping or not. We should be. Maybe not. There we go. Right. <coughs> yeah this needs harvesting. We've got a field right up the top right hand corner there of sugar beet that needs harvesting um, and putting into the BGA we've got a couple of fields over there that need I think I'm going to put sunflower in so they'll need seed um, they had canola in previously they're the ones that we in yesterday's episode do you know what? It might not be 112. I don't know. It's roughly episode 112. Yeah, in yesterday's episode, that's... Um, in fact, it won't have been yesterday's, would it? It'll have been a few days ago. Anyway. The canola came out with them fields, though, over there. I am all to pot. School holidays. Just... Messes things up, doesn't it? Let's get headland on here first. I mean, normally, for months now, I've been putting a video out every night, haven't I? Um, just, yeah, school holidays massively prevents that. I mean, I've still been getting sort of six out a week, but um, it just sort of puts, puts your sort of schedule to pot, if you know what I mean. Anyone with kids? We'll know exactly what I'm talking about. What else have we got to do? Oh, we've got some weeding to do over in that, in our top field, up at the back there. Um, that needs weeding. We've got, we need to go and sort out the weeds in our olives. What I'm going to do with that, I think I mentioned it in the last episode, if not, it was in the episode before. Because of the money we've made, I think we're just going to buy that, um the weeder, sorry, the machine what fertilizes and spreads herbicide as well. The proper grape stroke olive one. I think we're just going to go and buy that. It's 28 grand, but it's going to help massively. So yeah, We'll be doing that. We've just got so much to do. This is the fields that's going to... Um, well, it's just one big field now, isn't it? That's where we're going to put sunflowers in, I think. I'll have to have a look. Because I've been on Westbridge the last sort of couple of days, um, getting episodes done on there, I haven't being on no man's land so you kind of sort of lose track of exactly what you were doing um, but I think we're putting some flowers in there because I think we've got some other canola fields now so yeah they're planted with canola I know they're sunflowers as well but they I think they're ready next month so they'll be coming out the ground and then if we get them in as sunflowers they'll be ready in what's that seven or eight month time um, and then possibly put canola in this one because we've got barley in this one and or yeah yeah it's all right just with the um, with the crops that take longer obviously we need to we need to plan for that don't we I don't know if you've just heard there um, just out there's a I don't know which farm it is but there's a farm near me that's got a New Holland um, T7 I think and it just keeps going 
back and forth constantly. Um, and it has, it has done for like the last few weeks now. So that, if you could hear that, that's what, that's what it was. This barley is, we need it for, have we got, yeah, we need it for not only the chickens, but we need it for flour as well. I think we've possibly stopped producing f uh, flour now. To the point where I could, do you know what? Oh, I've got the oats. I was going to say it. Them fields over there that I just said about putting um, sunflowers in. I was saying I could probably do with putting barley in there, but that's what that massive oat field's for, isn't it? Um, yeah, we'll take another one off just so we can turn at the top. I've not got the the truck, um, the back of the truck, the trailer, that's filled with silage as well, a half filled with silage, of where I've been filling the BJ, so I'm going to have to use the Marshall trailer. Nearly there, there we go. Right, I'll nip over and get the trailer. Just about emptied. There we go. Tell you what, I've just like I said, I've just come off Westbridge Hills and I've just finished um, harvesting a sorghum field. We've got um, the X9 now on there, the John Deere X9 harvester, and I can't remember how big the head of it is as well, but the head is the one we've had for ages. It's absolutely massive. Um, God, I wish I had that on here. Just how quickly would we get this done if we did? It would be unbelievable, wouldn't it? I mean, if you think what we've come from, this is a really good setup, but having something as big as that would be fantastic. Okay, look, because we've got so much to do, and we have, we've got tons that we need to get through, um, I'm going to put a short time lapse on here. We're going to get the majority of it done, and then we'll come back and move on to the next job. I might even only do some of it, and then move on to another job, I might only do half the field maybe, I don't know, we'll see, see how long it takes but um, we'll put time lapse on for now I'll not be long another absolute dream of a situation that I've done so I've just recorded this this whole 12 minute segment um, recorded with me on so good on me yeah um, so I'll just have to post come over it again this will be like right in the middle of the video as well so all we've done we've done half the field um, I'll come back and do that after We've had one full trail load full and then that takes up about 66% of that Marshall trailer as well. So we'll come back and do the rest of it sort of later on in the video. I could even do it off camera if I need if needs be. But now, the thing that we need to do now is get over and we need to get some of our wool into our, um, into our production because we've run out. Um, what you'll also see as well is that it's actually... It's now top month for selling clothes, so we're going to go and do that, um, but we need to get the wool first. I'll just get backed up, we've got the box trailer, it's just, it's really easy, I mean, the unloading can be a bit funny sometimes, um, and so can try and reverse it obviously, 
but yeah it just makes things so much easier to to shift in bulk um, I actually thought we had more what well, even though it looks like we've got a fair bit and um, once we start loading it up there's not actually that much there but I think we only end up with um, I think it's 6700 I'm recording it straight after like I've literally realized that I've um I've been talking for over 12 minutes on mute and there's me looking around for it thinking there should be more wool here so we just get this last little bit and then we get up to the um get up to the cell point I say the cell point the production point more than anything what we'll do I'll just jump straight to that bit I just thought given the given the um circuit we might as well just sort of cut bits out in the middle it'll um chop it down a little bit we're um we're just having problems sort of unloading you need quite a bit of space don't you this is what I was talking about earlier on uh the space to unload some of the product it's still come up that it can't be performed there which was really annoying but we get there and again and there yeah that's the rest of it so we'll get this load up we'll get clothes being made again we probably won't um, sell any more until this time next year really given the price that we get for it I mean we checked the price shortly in fact we might have already done it that might have been in the bit I've just um, I've just come out of but all all that we're looking at there we've got missing materials for cakes and um, something else chocolate and it's milk that we're missing um, yeah we, we checked the price and it's like it's over 10 grand for each um, box of clothing which is fantastic really considering we're on hard mode I know on Carmson when we were doing clothes it was like 30 grand wasn't it we were getting for it but I mean that was obviously on easy economy um, so we'll go and load these clothes up now four pallets we've got uh, like I've just told you what the what the price is include the environmental score and we're absolutely cooking on gas with what we make from it um, it's so good considering it, it's pretty much free now as well we paid them sheep off ages ago by just selling the wool when it was um, when it was ready but now we're putting it through these productions I mean we're getting wool for nothing the water's free the grass is free it is literally money for nothing now so 4,000 litres worth uh, 4 pallets worth of clothing and yeah like I said for what we're getting for each one just get them loaded onto the um, cell point and you'll see there you go over 11 grand for each pallet for something that I'm not paying for that's just phenomenal I know we're gonna have to wait it's it's sort of one hit every every year but it's a good hit for doing very little we're getting a good chunk of money there we go with the reversing again this you have to be really really slow with this um, with this box trailer when you're reversing so what we're gonna do now we're gonna go and see Doris we're gonna make her extremely happy and run about behind that counter as usual because we're gonna go and buy some kit um, the first bit of kit we're going to go and buy is the fertilizer for the olives and I actually I buy this right and then within seconds I instantly regret it because I see something else that I didn't even know existed so uh, we're going to pay 28 grand for this um, I don't know why I've just come out of it oh I was checking to see make sure it did take for um, herbicide as well so we go along and now we see this which is precision spraying so we could have used that same price does everything the same didn't even know it existed so another great win for me there we are though gonna go and buy a new tractor um, to go with it because of the money we've made there's no point in not I'm not messing about with the tractors that 
oh, I've got that, it's just too big. I really went between getting the Landy and the Ridgey track. It was between them two that I was going to get. There is the Fent as well that I think we um, we rattle through to. Um, but I mean, the Fent's 77 grand, isn't it? And I don't even know. There's me trying to decide which one I want. Because um, we can power the Ridgey track as well. We we produce electricity. So yeah, we go along to the Fent. I just can't understand why the Fent's that much more expensive. But we end up making a decision. And we do go with the landy. Eventually. <laughs> I didn't realise it took this long when I was actually recording it. So yeah, we do go along with the um the landy. We've got the three point on the back. We don't change the engine because it's like massively expensive and hopefully we won't need it. Um and there's that precision farm and the um Azaria. Which we don't need because we haven't got the correct kit for it. So buy some herbicide as well. And then you'll see Doris going nuts behind. Yep. Is she? Yep, she's still going for it. So nearly 73 grand spent there. I mean, we've got two brand new bits of kit. I was just. I got into it and I couldn't believe how small it was. So I jumped out to have another look because I've never used this before. Um. I'm trying to think. We did. We did grapes on Elm Creek, didn't we? But I don't think we used sort of specialist tractor. I don't even think we used the sprayer either. I'm pretty sure we didn't use the sprayer. I think we only used the. Um, I think we only used one of our normal sort of fertilizer spreaders. So, I mean, 70 odd grand spent, but for what we plan to do with the olives, um, I think it's worth investing in the equipment, isn't it? We've still got the money, we've still got the 306 for the harvester. Um, oh, I was just put, making sure that the weeds, weeds um, caption was on there so I could tell if it was actually working or not. But, I mean, it does. It works absolutely brilliantly, to be fair. The only thing is, we might go back onto that um, caption quite a bit, just because at first I thought we could do every other, every other row, but it turns out you can't. You have to go up and down every single row. So we start at the end. Although I say we start at the end, we start at one in. We end up having to go back and doing the outside one. So yep, you can see the weeds disappearing um, and then I'm sure at some point I'll be checking the graphic as well yeah there we go just to make sure that it's happening um, it's re it works really well like who knew that specially designed um, equipment would work better than the one the equipment that we've already got there who knew I'm really pleased we have spent money on it, but that's what it's there for, isn't it? Considering we're going to be on no man's land for a good chunk of time. I mean, we're 112 episodes in. I wouldn't be surprised if we get another 112, to be honest. Um, because I absolutely adore the map. I adore the series. Like, I know we've made it difficult for ourselves, and we've purposely made it diff difficult for ourselves, but that is how I like to play like this now. Is how I enjoy playing. Like it might be frustrating sometimes scraping around in the dirt looking for pennies to buy seed. Do you know what I mean? But it's just it's such a great way to play the game. But I mean, yeah, working absolutely fine. I think it's just it's around about now we realise that we're gonna have to go up and down each row, which given the amount of rows we've got, um, it's a bit of a ball ache, but. It's one of them things, isn't it? Well, I was saying as well, I remember on the original um, take was all this gear, it doesn't even have to go up to the main farm. It can just... Um, what were we talking about? Specialist equipment and making it easier. Not getting stuck. Um, it can just stay down in our new shed. And if we ever come to do grapes as well, which is the only other thing that we'd use this equipment for, we'll make sure we do it on the land next to it. 
At the minute, I've got no plans to do grapes because I'd have to spend another something like two hundred and fifty odd grand on on the grape harvester. So I've got no plans to do that. But you never know. The thing that I'm last few rows to do, you will know already that we messed up a bit with the last um, the last segment. So the last segment was all pause com. Um, I stopped the videos pretty much as soon as. I realised and then went and did the recording for it um, which was an absolute pain but one of them things I suppose I'm sure it'll happen again it's happened many times before right two more after this because we have to do the ends as well and I think we've got a tiny bit to do at the end of um, one of the others but as far as equipment's concerned I mean this is just it's made life so much easier and it doesn't use much either really and we're on 50% so we've used we haven't even used 600 litres five and five and a half we've used so yeah just this tiny little bit to do down there and then we can go and I'm not sure whether to actually go and fill it with um, liquid fertilizer and just see if it needs another load of um, fertilizer on it because oh, I've already gone past it I thought it was down there right which one is it Oh, there it is. You can see the weeds there. There we go. Yep. Right. So, if we go into them here... It says nitrogen perfect, pH perfect, but... If you look at it on there... I know, obviously, it's been said that you need to prepare it first. So... I'm just wondering, do we just completely ignore that? I think we might have to. But you've got, there they all are, little olives on there growing. Let's go and get this parked up in our shed. I'm loving this, by the way, having this here. It's absolutely ideal. In fact, I might as well just put it um I'm getting caught in two mines. Right, I'll put it there. We're not gonna use that side door anyway. There we go. And this might as well go next to it as as well. Right, fantastic. I mean, this is already starting to look a lot better, isn't it? Just without having kits scattered all over the place. Okie dog. Right, let's move on to the next job. Next job, we need to plant some sunflowers. Um, I've been, in the meantime, I've been, took the styre up and brought a, a bag of seed. And we also, which we haven't done I don't think we've ever done in this series because we've been doing it a different way. We've got some solid fertilizer that we're going to fill in here as well. If it'll register. If it'll register, come on. Am I going to have to separate them? Is it because it's not solid fertiliser? It's because it's liquid fertiliser, isn't it? Brilliant. Right, forget what I was going to say. We're not using the liquid fertiliser. Have I got any liquid fertiliser down here? I can use that solid fertiliser. It's not an issue. It's um, I can use it either as fertiliser or in the one of the greenhouses. 
Right. Forget that. We'll just we'll put a fertilizing state over the top with the solid fertilizer with the. Um... Is that working? It is. Brilliant. Yeah, we'll just use the spreader to uh, top it off. I mean, that's what I think we started doing that a couple of episodes ago, didn't we? Just to make sure that everything was sort of perfect. Um, we've already put, and you can you can actually see it. Um, you've already put a load of manure down on it so the whole field I know it's separated in the middle but we are counting it as one field the whole field is fertilised with one load of fertilizer, with one load of manure and then all we'll do is we'll bring our spreader our solid fertiliser spreader and We'll put the the sensor on the front of the tractor, and we'll do it that way. Then we it should be absolutely perfect. <laughs> I can't believe like I don't even know why I didn't look beforehand. I don't even know why I thought it was solid fertilizer. Maybe it's just because. These are normally these normally solid. I don't know. Maybe the ones I've used predominantly are just all solid fertilizer. I don't know. But like I said, that fertilizer will still get used. We've got a few things, a few different things we can use it for. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to go straight around this corner and we might as well go right around the outside of all the field and then we'll... That's pretty much what we do when we harvest it as well. We went, I'm pretty sure we went around the, the outside and then come back in. Ten to one. I'm just trying to think whether we're going to actually get everything done that we need to do. That field up there with the sugar beet in might have to wait. We might have to do that in May. I mean, to be fair, I don't think we actually need... Well, not need it. I don't want to be taking out context. We we put it in there, basically, to put straight into the BGA, didn't we? To make money out of. Um, we produce sugar from two of our productions... There's the smaller one, and then there's the all-in-one production. The all-in-one, I churns through it, and I think that might actually be out of sugar beet at the minute, so it's not producing sugar anymore. Um, but we've got quite a lot of sugar stacked up. Um, the smaller production has still got like a hundred thousand liters of sugar, of sugar beet in it, but it's just it's so slow that you can't solely rely on that one. So. It might be that that whole field, which it isn't a big one, but you'll still get a lot of sugar beet off that whole field up there. I'm going up. Will be used simply just to get put through the BGA. year. There's a good chance that that will happen. And like I said, that's why it got put in there anyway. That's why the majority of the um, sugar beet fields that we're doing now are planted. Because that BGA makes us so much money. There's our bag of unused solid fertilizer. Brilliant. You'll see we've already got the weeder up on the John Deere up in the top left hand corner as well. That's to do some weeding in um in that field, I think that's our last field that needs weeding. This will need rolling as well, don't it? And you not forget to do that. Right, let's have. I know we had a short time lapse on the first one. Let's have a bit of a one on this one as well. Um, and we might as well get. Well, we need this whole. We need it done. We can't do with what we did with the harvesting and come back halfway through it. This 
full field to need seed. So yeah, let's get get it on. We'll need to refill it probably at least once, probably a couple of times to be honest. Um, and then we'll come back towards the end. back on I don't think the time lapse will have been overly long however that's only because I didn't record much on it we done absolutely loads um, I think I got everything in that we done but we finished the season we did all the rolling and obviously rolling just with what we've um, the equipment we've got it takes ages anyway um, and then we put the sensor and the fertilizer spreader on the back of the styre I'm going well off there um, on the back of the styre and we did that as well and you'll see you can see in the grass field there that it's only put fertilizer down on the bits where it required it so yeah I, I started the um, I mean that took us until five o'clock as well nearly five o'clock anyway I started the weeding on here just because this video I've just gone on to sort of start editing before I finish this um, the end of the video and it's like it was towards 50 minutes long so yeah I started weeding first just to just so that the video wasn't approaching an hour well any more than it already was anyway but yeah we've got absolutely tons done it's going to make May a lot easier. The thing that we didn't get done that we wanted to is... I'm just trying to find the weeds in the... It's a barley field, this, and it's an absolute nightmare to find the weeds. Um, the only thing we didn't get done was the sugar beet harvest. Need to get that done in the next, next in-game month. I suppose... As long as it's all right in the next in-game month, it gives us a bit of breathing space because it gives us two days to do it, doesn't it? And like I was saying, the only thing we're doing with it anyway is um, putting it through the BGA, so there's no great shakes to get done. Right, there's a tiny little bit up here, and I'm running out of fuel, so those will just have to stay where they are. Let's just take this back to the farm. get fueled up quickly and then off camera I'll finish that harvest I'll tell you what else I did off camera as well I am um, all these strawberries here and oh that was really light once it hit that all the strawberries there and the strawberries in the one in the greenhouse behind that shed there um, they got took up I filled the Donut factory and then I sold the rest, but we didn't get much for it. It was like literally a couple of grand for what was there, but um, they were just stocking up, so I thought we'd get it done. So let's get this parked up. There we go. Right, we have got absolutely tons done today starting with whatever I don't know we started with the harvest didn't we we moved on to the olives we bought a load more kit um, from money that we made um, I think it's been a really good episode to be honest it's done us really really well uh, and we'll be ready to move on hopefully there'll be more fields ready to harvest ah, it looks like them two might be ready to harvest the two sunflower fields which would be good but we're going to leave it there so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one Thank you.